Welcome back, recruits. I see you are quickly earning your sea legs. That is wonderful. You have graduated back to the basics, but it's no time to slack off. We've got four unique ships that we have to learn about. So we're gonna do that right now. Your next block of instruction is going to be on cruisers. These jack of all trades are wonderful ships that have a variety of applications. So prepare to learn. Let's get your knowledge on and see what these wonderful ships have to offer. Cruisers are the perfect all-around ship in World of Warships. Fast, agile, and with a deadly array of weapons, cruisers are suited to take on all threats you might encounter. Size-wise, they fit right in between battleships and destroyers. With a devastating rate of fire, cruisers have the ability to fling shell after shell at enemy warships. The type of ammunition you use is very important, though. You'll want to use AP shells against other cruisers. For battleships and destroyers, you'll want to use your HE rounds. AP will bounce off battleships and fly straight through destroyers. To maximize your damage, you'll want HE, which will explode on the enemy's superstructure, causing devastating fires. You need to be careful with your cruiser. While your armor is decent enough, it's no match for a battleship shell. You need to protect your citadels, the boiler room, and magazine compartments. The best way to do this is to stay angled and never show your broadside. Each nation's cruisers offer something different for players. The United States Navy's cruisers boast superior anti-aircraft capabilities, making them perfect for protecting your capital ships from enemy carriers. Their guns are capable of decent damage and have a high rate of fire. In the early tiers, they even carry torpedoes. The Imperial Japanese Navy offers a different approach. Fast and stealthy, these cruisers are loaded with long-range torpedoes making them a dual threat. What they might lack in anti-aircraft capabilities, their torpedoes and fire-starting HE more than make up for it. Be wary when these ships are around. German cruisers offer the best of both worlds. Decent armor, speed, anti-aircraft, and torpedoes put the German line right in between both the IJN and USN cruiser lines. They are a perfect match for those that can't decide between the two previously mentioned nations. The guns on German cruisers also have excellent range, giving them the ability to fire before being fired upon. Russian cruisers offer an exciting mix of gameplay. Fast and bristling with damaging main guns, these cruisers offer both risk and reward for players. The flat arc and pinpoint accuracy of Russian cruiser guns make them a threat against all ships. However, the Russian cruisers have weak armor and can't take quite the amount of damage their counterparts can. Play on your toes in these ships. Remember that they also carry torpedoes, though their range is somewhat short. There are consumables that greatly help cruisers survive. The anti-aircraft consumable concentrates your AA for a brief time. Activate it when enemy aircraft are near to melt them from the sky. Some cruisers have radar, which can spot enemy destroyers, even in smoke. Hydroacoustic helps awareness and helps detecting torpedoes earlier. If close enough, it can even detect destroyers. Some cruisers even can heal themselves, like the IJN Premium Otago and high-tier US cruisers. Now that you know what each nation has to offer with their cruiser, get out there and take the fight to the enemy. Remember the basics and you'll do fine, sailor.